we now come to the concept of electric potential difference so in order to carry on our discussion which we started with electric potential we shall repeat that when i bring a body from infinity to a particular point i perform a work which gets converted to electrical potential energy and again when i take this body from here to there i convert this electrical potential energy to work so now by electric potential difference we mean this work by charge so this brings us to a very very important equation by which we calculate the electrical energy or the electrical work in many many cases in electrostatics in modern physics and so on where the work done to move an electron against a voltage of 1 volt is what is known as the unit of electrical work or ev which happens to be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule so this is one very important value which you should remember in many conversions problems dealing with electrostatics problems dealing with modern physics we come across this now let us kind find out the kind of work that we are doing here the work mind you is a conservative in nature so as the work is conservative in nature it depends on the power and here by the conservative force as we deal with here i take a body from here to there from here to here from here to here so in all the cases what i perform the work is based on the displacement which is same in all the cases so the work 1 the work 2 and the work 3 are all the same so i have all the work to be same now this is one point that is very very relevant here that you perform the work and the work is conservative in nature hence do not depend on the path you may go like this like this like this and bring the charge here and you may go straight but irrespective of the path the work done is same well it happens to become a bit tricky at times and why it happens like that because for a conservative field you know as we perform the work the work as you know is dw is fdx so as you perform the work it happens to get stored as its energy and the stored energy is nothing but the potential energy of the body so this is what we have for a conservative field so that is the reason why irrespective of the path the work becomes same now let us come to some electrostatic analogies which will be very important for finding out potential difference say for example a negative charge is moving a negative charge is moving as you all know the electric field moves from positive to negative as a result of which the electric charge the positive charge moves along the same field so it moves from a higher potential to a lower potential but the case of electron it will go in the other way around so it will come from negative to positive so this is one very important aspect that you should remember i'll repeat i'll repeat in clear terms because it is very important concept for you that a positive charge will always go from higher potential to lower potential while a negative charge will go from a lower potential to a higher potential i understand that this point is very important here i will repeat that for a positive charge it goes from a higher potential to a lower potential and for a negative charge it moves from a lower potential to a higher potential you see electric current say for example is nothing but flow of electrons so if you consider electrons it will be moving for a negative potential to a positive potential that is the reason why we consider the positive charge that is the charge flowing opposite to the direction of electron to be the conservative charge or the charge on which the current depends so this is actually the charge which is flowing for a current and the electron flow is opposite so in no matter what is comes to current we call that it is moving from positive to negative as we can draw the battery like this and take it from positive to negative so this is one very important aspect of potential difference which is to understand the second aspect of potential difference as far as electrostatics is concerned 
is the pure value of the potential difference which you are calculating. Now, say for example, you have a positive charge here, you have a negative charge here, you have a positive charge here, and you are asked to find the potential due to these two charges at this point. So, mind you, when you are calculating the potential here, you need not consider the charge of this particular particle. No need of considering the charge of this particle. Simply take it as a point. Deal with the sign of this charge. So, you see, if it is at a distance R1, then the potential due to charge Q here will have a value of minus Q by R1. The potential due to this charge here will have a value of plus Q by R2. Well, now, if R1 and R2 is same, then what you are having is a zero potential here. So, this is how you consider the difference of the points of potentials. So, this difference ultimately leads to our basis, the basis of our equation, which we say, again I repeat, is del W Q del V. So, that is the essence of potential difference that we are dealing with. And now, from here, we'll go on to the next part, but wait till then, and have a good understanding of del W Q del V. Thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelessons.net.